We spend most of our lives on sailboats, mostly teaching people how to sail at our sailing school. We spend so much time traveling between locations, we needed a land-based sailboat. Eh, we needed a van. So we got this. This is Landon, our sailboat of the land. The land one. And this is his story. Max Air Fan Deluxe. Today's install day for the Max Air Fan Deluxe in our 2024 Transit Connect. Ready to go. All right, so we're down here in Key Largo and I'm gonna try to get this fan installed while we're just sitting in a marina parking lot. But here is the rooftop mount. The fan will click into that. And then we've got a trim ring that we will cut down to size. First, we gotta get a 14 by 14 inch hole in the roof of the van. Dun, 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 dun. I'm up here on top of the van. Here is the install ring, 14 by 14. Framing it out with a brand new framing square so it's nice and straight. What I've had to measure for is there's a support cross beam right down the center, so I have to go in front of that. And then we're gonna have 42 inch long solar panels so I have to make sure that it's far enough forward to have room for them so what I've done so what I've done is marked everything this line accounts for the seven and a half inch overhang of the fan itself this line right here accounts for the 42 inch long solar panels this line accounts for the center cross beam or support beam and that blue line here marks as far forward as we can possibly put this fan. So I'm going to be, and then, sorry, this line marks the very front of the fan, which needs an inch and a quarter. So we're going to be roughly there, and that should give us plenty of clearance for everything. So I'm going to start measuring, and then measure again, and then measure again, and then cut. Ha ha ha. Just a quick mock-up. As I'm doing it, I noticed a gap there and a gap there on my cut lines. So I'm gonna remeasure. I feel like 14 by 14 might be a little too big. Although that's what they said to do. But that's what it'll look like, basically. And I've still got clearance on my solar by a whopping half inch. So I'm going to remeasure this just because of that little gap. So I'm happy I remeasured. <laughs> it's a half inch off this way and an eighth of an inch off this way. So I'm going to readjust all my stuff and get it right. Corrected to exactly 14 inches. And that leaves about a sixteenth of an inch 
on either side, which will be good to help seal in with some sealant. And that actually increased my clearance on the back by about a to about an inch for my solar panels. I am ready to cut. Got a little extra support to the ceiling. I'm gonna add these little two by two squares. Just a tuck in there. Nothing fancy, just enough to give it a little extra support. Use butyl tape to fill in the high edges and then another layer of butyl tape around it and then on the actual insert itself I'll do another layer and then once that's screwed down in tight it'll squeeze out all the edges the perks of butyl tape is it doesn't ever cure so if it ever gets a little leaky all we have to do is tighten it down